So that's a autonomous USV, fully electric USV, uh, using sonar technology, uh, collecting data from the seafloor underwater and stitching that together with GPS uh, mapping so that we can see what the seafloor looked like. Previously, you'd have to have a, a big vessel uh, and big, uh, chunky equipment to gather this uh, data. And you'd have to have a pilot, uh, more crew, and it's going to be time-consuming, expensive. And we've narrowed that down to a single operator sitting at home behind his desk, steering uh, and, and mapping all of the data. The as a guy is a mob concept of, of robots taking over our jobs and supplanting us in day to day activity, it's science fiction. What robots and autonomy gives us is it gives us new jobs to do, new ways of working. Robots aren't going to take our jobs, robots are creating more jobs, more ways to collect data, more ways to work in the ocean. So robots aren't going to take our jobs. They're just going to give us more ways to understand the ocean and work in the ocean and combat climate change. They're going to give us ways of doing things that we could never do on our own. But now that we have a relationship with these autonomous robots, we can conceive of ways that we can work together, we can conceive of tasking for them, we can conceive of ways that they can collect data for us and how we'll process that data and how we'll turn it into intelligence. And it is just amazing. It is truly creating, we have made more progress in our understanding of the ocean and in our understanding of climate change and how it impacts the ocean really in the last two years than we've probably made in, that's in the last two decades. And it's because we have a sense of scalability now. It's amazing.
I would say the divers now, uh, they can do a lot of stuff. They've been doing it for many, many years, right? The robots coming in. So for example, one of our robots, uh, we can attach 20 plus accessories, right? You have a selection of accessories you can choose from. Let's say for scientific research or for environmental, we got water samplers or uh, sensors uh, for that situation. For search and rescues, you can use sonars, imaging sonars to detect bodies. So for various views, I would say not to replace of the diver, but to help the divers down their job more easier, safer, and more efficient. Well, I would say the first thing is smaller, and second is probably the cost will be down. The ROV in the past probably cost a million bucks or half a million dollars. So we want to bring the cost down and make it more efficient. So in, for the long run, it probably can replace divers to do the more danger, dan dangerous job. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.